Hey everybody. So I had a conversation after class yesterday about um, different techniques on how to handle the animation for the uh, Ferris wheel. Um, you have the Ferris wheel and the main wheels going around and around and around, um, but each of the individual cars are kind of uh, uh, have their own sense of animation and stay oriented to the ground because you certainly wouldn't want to dump everybody off uh, when it reached the top. So I did a quick, uh, uh, just an example in class, and I wanted to pass it on because it might be of some use to somebody else. Um, here's just a cylinder, so I'm going to go in here, I'm just going to nuke out the faces, and I want to nuke out everything in the middle here, and basically make my Ferris wheel. Alrighty, so here we got a Ferris wheel. I'm going to put the pivot in the center. And uh, rotate this. I'm going to hold down the J key so I can get a nice snappy rotation and take it up 90 degrees. All right, so here's my Ferris wheel as it's going to want to go around. Uh, I'll put it in this mode so you can see. So, what I'm going to do is just going to create a um, little car for it. Again, what we'll do is we'll um, just you know, shrink this thing down so it makes a little bit more sense. And I'm just going to hold down the V key and take it up to somewhere and snap it. So this is going to be one of my cars. So you just get a sense of what we're doing. Well, what we want to do is we want this car to stay vertical as this thing rotates around. So um, in Maya, you have the ability to use constraints. And there's different types of constraints. There's uh, positional constraints, orient constraints. And the constraint I want you to take a peek at, if you switch over to animation and we go to the constraint menu, is the parent constraint go into the options, we have the ability to, um, well, if we go back to uh, reset, it's normally set to uh, constrain translation and rotation of the child object to the parent, okay? Uh, but that's not what we're going to want in this case. So let me show you the way, a uh, really quick way we could go about doing this. Uh, first, we select the constraining object or the parent object, and then we select the child object. In this case, what I want to do is I want to turn off the rotation. I only want it constrained by translation, and I want to make sure that maintain offset is on. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is apply that, and as I now rotate the uh, parent object, you might get the idea of what we can do. So this will basically travel around with it. Alright, so we can do this sort of a thing, which might work out better for you. Um, what's nice about this is we still have the ability to uh, do something animation-wise with this if we wanted to, and you could put the pivot somewhere that makes more sense than that. But this was just a quick example. I wanted to show you um, how you might go about at least beginning to uh, experiment with this. All right, so this is uh, basically your um, parent constraint and how you would maintain a separate orientation for the child objects on the Ferris wheel. Hopefully that was helpful. Take care, guys.